The Daughters of St. Paul embrace all forms of media, from print to digital, as means of evangelization. They maintain stores in more than 50 countries around the world, including here in Midtown Manhattan. Um, Daughters of St. Paul, we were founded in 1915. Our mission is communications. Um, we're present now in 52 countries, but here in the States, we're in a number of different places. And really, whether it's the publishing house in Boston, or whether it's the bookstore here in Midtown Manhattan, or whether it's our evangelization efforts that take place from here, um, we go out with different books and, and media and do workshops and we do media literacy workshops and it's just everything is to communicate Jesus Christ and to engage people in this great conversation that is faith. For the Daughters of St. Paul, making a documentary on their founder has been a joyful collective project is being distributed through Vimeo, the internet video platform. Pope John Paul II called him the first apostle of the new evangelization and proclaimed him blessed on April 27, 2003. Of himself, he said, if God had found someone more unworthy, he would have chosen him. We're in a media culture, but it's ironic that a lot of people in the church have no idea of who this guy is. He was a newspaper, magazine, and book publisher, a broadcaster, and filmmaker. He was very devoted to Our Lady and stated that he couldn't even give an exhortation without first praying the rosary. I think Alberione's genius was having that intuition that the church really needed to get to jump in with both feet in this media communications world. And then from there he goes on to found different religious communities, the Sister Disciples of the Divine Master, the Sisters of Jesus the Good Shepherd, all um, the Pauline cooperators, um, a, a group of lay people, different institutes, secular institutes, all around this idea of Christ. Jesus Christ is the, the communication of God's love and mercy to the world and we need to get that message out there to the world. Even as they've embraced the use of evolving communications tools, including social media, the sisters have put a lot of care and thought into the physical location of their store. So wherever we are, whether it's here in Midtown Manhattan, or um, in Washington, D.C., or in Boston, or in Los Angeles, it's that, it's that plunking ourselves down in the middle of Main Street and just kind of saying, Here's, here's the church. Here's Jesus Christ. Let me tell you about Jesus. Let me introduce you to Jesus. The documentary on the life of Blessed James Alberione can be found at mediaapostle.com. Reporting for Currents, I'm Conrad Aderer.